Physicists have long grouped the most basic building blocks of our universe into two categories. One group consists of fermions, which include matter particles like electrons, protons, and neutrons. The other group contains bosons, which include particles linked to forces like photons and the Higgs particle. These two families differ in their spin values and in how many can occupy the same place at once. Recent work suggests a whole new category of quasiparticles called paraparticles might exist. After decades of thinking, we had only two options, bosons or fermions. Scientists discovered a possible third way. They have only explored these proposed objects in one- and two-dimensional mathematical models, but there is no ironclad reason to dismiss their presence in our three-dimensional world. Quasi-particles are not original building blocks of matter. Instead, they show up as patterns or disturbances in a larger system. A person might wonder if these hypothetical particles have any real-world use. In recent years, a type of quasi-particle called anyones has excited researchers looking into quantum computers. The reason is that anyones could help store and process information in more stable ways. Paraparticles might offer something equally helpful, or maybe even more unusual. Nobody is sure how far this idea could go. Could paraparticles appear in everyday life? Most breakthroughs in particle physics or condensed matter do not show up on a kitchen table. These paraparticles might appear only under very special conditions. Right now, the studies point to their appearance in one and two dimensions, like in tightly controlled experiments or possibly in exotic states of matter. It is not clear how often nature might brew up these odd entities, but the door is open for future tests. For decades, researchers have questioned whether we were missing something in the particle zoo. Now, fresh models indicate there might be more to the story than we assumed. Efforts to nail down signatures of paraparticles may help confirm that they are not just neat math puzzles. These ideas might also spark a wave of research into exotic phases of matter that never quite fit into existing theories. What happens next? Researchers may next try to propose experiments that shine light on paraparticle effects in advanced laboratories. Whether they manage to create these new quasi-particles or see them naturally in materials remains to be seen. Even small hints that paraparticles are real would give scientists a chance to explore phenomena that previously looked off-limits. For now, the notion stands as a mathematical proof of possibility. It challenges the assumption that bosons and fermions are the only options and leaves the door open for more surprises. That sense of possibility is enough to keep many scientists energized. They recognize that what seems purely theoretical now can sometimes lead to major leaps down the road.